Group E is shaping up to be a heck of a finish, and we've got ourselves a heck of a battle on our hands from the Hualeftio Craft Arena. The Aoiko side defend home ice against the advancing Karpat Olu. Both teams have had decent success in their domestic leagues. Out of the two of them, however, Karpat are the ones with something more to play for. They've got three shutouts in a row coming into this game. They're coming up against the team that knows what they're doing as well. Boleftio well, started off the SHL season with a bang. They've trailed down a bit since then, but they're still a dangerous team. And their netminder, Lindvall, shows us why he's amongst the top in the Swedish league. Around seven minutes in, and we still wouldn't have found ourselves a goal amidst all the action in front of both sides of the ice. Ribar getting himself a couple stops right out in front of his blue paint. And that's what you need from your netminder, especially early on, weather the storm, but he couldn't weather it forever. 11.26 is the time of the opening goal. Adam Pedersen off the backhand, but in my eyes, it's all about that pass. The backhander finds the target smoothly. one nothing for the home side. Apoleftio, they had their moments on the offensive side of things, but they also gave up the puck a few too many times in a careless fashion. This one of them, but Lindvall up to the task. This another, but Pugliarvi can't find the back of the net. Lindvall is there to save the day once more, and that's one of the two players on Karpat. You really don't want bearing down on you 1-0. On the other, Yusi Jokinen. And unfortunately for Jokinen, he wouldn't have himself a goal in this one, but this was, well, pretty, pretty darn close. The trickler almost gets past the netminder, but not this time around. 30 seconds left on the power play, another opportunity for the home side, but neither team was really able to get anything flowing on the man advantage. The lone goal did come on a six on five, a delayed penalty, but that won't count. Another opportunity the other way for Karpat. They had a decent amount of odd man rushes. This is just one of them. But once again, that man is up to the challenge. Lindvall and his team certainly are as the last second empty net goal from Tom Payat will seal the deal. Kualefio not only beat a strong, strong opponent from the Finnish league, but now they are in control of the top spot in Group E. 10 points for them, 9 points for Karpat. We get a rematch next week to decide who the better side really is.